Hi Jason, this is Colton with North Island Nissan and behind me I have our 2016 Mazda CX-5. I want to do a walk around on this guy and show you the condition and the features that it comes with here. So I'll go all the way around the vehicle, showing off as much as it has. It sounds like you'll probably be familiar with the model for the most part coming from 2017. Um, but it is in really nice condition. Again, there was a dog in the back there so we did have the uh, smell removed yesterday. So there is, it kind of smells like a pool almost when you walk into it. It's a little bit of a chlorine smell. Um, definitely not the worst smell in the world and it does dissipate after the a couple days it's just because we just had it done last night or overnight there um but yeah it's not too bad at all the dog smell has been completely erased which is nice if you don't have dogs yourself um i will go over some more features when i come around to the driver's side just to give you a full condition of the interior here Lots of back seat space in the CX-5s as well. They do use a little bit of a theater style seating system, so they are raised ab up above the front seats, which does help with leg room back here. There is a bumper protector on the back, which is definitely a nice little addition. And I'll show you the scratches that I saw before. It is very clean, and overall, again, it is in very good condition. Um, but just on the sides here, you can see there's a couple really light scratches in there. And then a couple, not as bad on the other side. Uh, they do have the levers to fold the seats down, so there's one there. And two on this side to fold the side, middle, and the right side seat down. Now, coming into the driver's side. In the GS trim level, you do get a power driver's seat. There are power locks, windows, and mirrors on the door. Then I'll hop in real quick and start her up. And so it does have 99,224 kilometers on it. Uh, you do have the cruise control on the steering wheel as well as volume and Bluetooth controls. Um, it's kind of hard to see right now, but there is the blind spot warning in the mirrors as well, which I didn't actually know it had in this vehicle. So that's pretty cool. You get the button for it right here um, where you can turn it on and off. Um, so it does have the blind spot warning in it. Um, and then in, this, in the center console, you do get Bluetooth calling and audio. So you can get your phone set up for the Bluetooth. If I pop it into reverse, it does have a backup camera there as well. And then below that, we do have our heated seats down here so you got high medium and low for all the heated seats um, temperature controls pretty straightforward temperature on the left fan strength in the middle all different modes on the right a couple usb ports down below that and then in the center console here we do have a couple driving modes you can activate the sport mode there um, and then on the gear shifter it's kind of hard to see with the reflection but you get park first neutral drive and then you can shift it into the manual mode to manually shift through the gears too. And then we've got our dial here, which does control the screen up front. Again, I'm sure you're probably familiar with most of this. I think it's a similar layout in the 2017s, but you do get the volume control there too. Um, electric parking brake. And then in the GS trim level, switch to a wide angle view here. I mean, you do get the sunroof up top as well. And so I think that's mostly everything this comes with. I'll do one more quick pan over the whole vehicle. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of the condition of it. And there we are. So if there's anything else in this vehicle that I can show you that I may have missed in this video, uh, just let me know. I'm more than happy to put another video together for you or snap a few pictures as well. Um, but thank you very much for watching this one. Uh, the Mazda 3 is gonna come next. It's actually out with a customer apparently. Um, I'm not sure if it was like a service customer or what, what happened there, but it's out with the customer now. I'm not sure if they're test driving it. Um, we're gonna try and get them back in. So I'm gonna have a video for the Mazda 3 later today. Um, so I'll get that to you as soon as I can though. But in the meantime, I will send you the Carfax support and safety inspections for both this Mazda CX-5 and the Mazda 3 as well. Thank you very much for calling in today and watching this video and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks a lot.